Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Just, Hi uh, there. Look at them out there. Blah. I can't believe the way people dress for TV. It is utterly amazing to me that anybody would be in that state of mm. undress and watching yeah. a cooking show. Well, welcome to Cooking Cheap. Yeah, we're glad to see you. And look, Doris is back. We can always tell Doris is back. No, <laughs> no, no. That no, isn't no. what that means. <laughs> and have, uh, uh, what are these? They're geraniums. Yes, yeah, geraniums. When geraniums last geraniums. in the dooryard bloom. That's a literary reference for all of you literates out there. Mm. Oh, and they're lovely. It's amazing at this time of the year. Well, the mail continues to trickle in. <laughs> no, we, Just when we thought it had, we'd gotten our last letter. Oh, no, no. All right. Hello, Bly and Thy. Piedmont stops in Roanoke to let off the farmers and pick up the flies. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your show and wish it was on the Nashville cable TV channel. Oh, yes, we do too. Oh, yeah, well, maybe it will be by the pretty soon. And and it said here in Miami, <laughs> they're they're not even in Nashville. Here in Miami, we need a a, a, a Latin version called Cook, Cookie Jeep. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he goes on and on and on. And yes, anyway, hooray, well there's, and he sent us all kinds of stuff here uh, for some kind of uh, stuff that you can spray that will rid your workplace of smoke, all odors and stale air. Oh, hey, that's <laughs> terrific. And it's called Woof, <laughs> and it cleans out everything. And he's also uh, proffering to us a telephone. Who is this? It's uh, some guy named Dennis from Miami hmm. tr trying to sell us telephones and woof. Dear gentlemen, uh, I enjoy your show very much. Try not to miss it. I also cook like you and make a mess and I lick my fingers. Happy cooking from Lorraine, I think that's Blankenbeckler. Uh -huh. I believe that's what it is, from uh, Coburn, Virginia. Thank well, and from Clintwood, Virginia. Now, see if this name rings a bell with you. From Ruth Scardo, who wrote to thank us for using her nameless candy on the show. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, yes well, yes, thanks, yes, Ruth, yes, and yes. we're glad you appreciated it. And it. Took us a good while to get around to thanking you, but we appreciate it. Hey, you guys. I just watched to see the comedy cut-ups. Get it? cut-ups, as in meat. This guy's a panic. Uh, he should be writing our show. I think that you two are as funny as Abbott and Costello, uh, uh, Burns and Allen, uh -huh. Laurel and Hardy, Heartburn uh -huh. and Gas. Uh, 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 uh. No, I really do enjoy your show. Uh, do you think perhaps one of your future shows you can fix something Cajun? I would enjoy to see such a show. Liver and Onions, William Falls, Jr. <laughs> Liver and Onions, Danville, Virginia. Hey, a lot of hey, good viewers well, down there. We'll, we'll see what we can we'll do. We'll think about that. Yeah, we'll think about that. Cajun. 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 Well, let's go to the kitchen so we can catch Doris fooling around. <laughs> <laughs> Doris is uh, trying to save my bacon, which I've just about burned to a crisp. Now, let me tell you, you do have to get your bacon crisp. I have, uh, just before we went on the air, started a little bit of bacon on the stove here, and I've got it just right. If, isn't that beautiful? Just mm -hmm. a golden brown. You do that very slowly. Mr. Johnson taught me how to do bacon. He taught me that you have to do it slowly. slowly. The slower the better, and there you have it. Now what I'm going to do is just put that aside, and we're going to pat it dry. All right, get a little bit of the, just a little pat bit it, of that pat excess. Pat what, what, why are there. you cooking that bacon block? Because I'm going to use it sort of as a garnish along with some sour cream a little bit later on. What I'm doing today, we're having veal. The name of the show, as you saw at the beginning, if you can read and if you can, I'll tell you, is I Veal Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I Veal Good. Uh, and uh, well, I'm going to do a veal recipe friend. called Tasty Veal. Tasty Veal. And should I start or you go start? Oh, you go ahead and st start because... I've got to read a letter about the one I'm doing, but it's real easy to do. So oh, okay. I'm going to cut up an onion for those of you that like to cook along with, with us. So just get out an onion and well, let you'll be in Fat City. Poof. Let me start this here. All right. What I did was I went to my favorite grocery area. I got too much junk here. I can't do it. I can't move. I'm feeling claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. And I got three pounds shoulder of veal. And I have cooked that off this afternoon. 
and it's still warm as a matter of fact and I'm not going to put it back on the stove and heat it up again because I'm going to have to chop it in a couple of minutes. I don't want it to be too hot and hurt my hands. But anyway, three pounds of shoulder veal and you cook that in a little salt water covered for about one hour to an hour and a half till it gets tender. In a couple of minutes I'm going to reach in there with my bare hands and take it out and I'm going to chop it all up. And it's just, it's still warm. I just got it off the stove a few minutes ago. What I got to do in the meantime, and, and of course I got my bacon set aside now. My veal is all ready. I've cooked that off a little bit earlier. And we're going to make sort of a casserole here after a while. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up some vegetables which go along with this and that's going to take a little bit so I'm going to start right now. This recipe calls you put a half stick of margarine on the stove and start heating it up and a half a cup of chopped celery, half a cup of chopped onion and a half a pound or so of sliced mushrooms. And I've uh, already sliced, uh, well I've already cleaned my mushrooms just a few minutes ago and I'm just going to start just, I'm not even going to chop them on the board, I'm just going to cut them just like that right on into the to the pan they go. We're just going to put a half a pound of those in there and that's what I'm going to do for a little bit. All right. Well, Larry, what I'm going to do, and incidentally, I, I do have to say that we're wearing these fabulous aprons that are from our pal Bob Herbert and uh, they refer to the city in which uh, this show is produced, the city of Roanoke, Virginia, and we've been named an All-America City four different times and we're real proud of it, so they sent these to us and we're real glad they did. And Bob, I hope the check's in the mail. Right. <laughs> so anyway. All right, now I've got a, just a um, container of spinach, frozen spinach, chopped. And now, let uh, me ask you something yeah. before you get along too far with this and you get too frisky with the program and you get mm -hmm. all caught up in it. Where did you come up with this name? What's the name of it? Then, is uh, Old Ladies Living Alone Spinach. Old well, Ladies Living this, Alone Spinach. This came in from uh, Mary Doyle Page of Conway, Arkansas, and she wrote this. I think you guys are really something. I'd like something quick for old ladies living alone. Hmm. Uh, s such as, and she sent this recipe, and she said this is for old ladies living alone. So, uh, Mary, Mary Doyle, this is for you. This is your recipe, and... Uh, we're sorry you're living alone, but I think this is going to be a real tasty one. Now, I've got my spinach, and we're going to have to cook this. Uh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. I don't know. Woo, woo, there it is. All right. <laughs> I have to admit that frightened me just a tad a little bit. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to cook it in this pan with one medium onion that's been chopped. You wouldn't be offended if I washed my celery, would you? No, you go right ahead. All right. Uh, I, I would hate to eat unclean celery, but it wouldn't be the first unclean thing I've eaten on this show in the last 24 hours almost. Now, my spinach, incidentally, I'm not boiling the spinach. You don't need to do it. It's already cooked enough when you get it out of the thing. I just thawed it out, and I've got it in here with no other water over a medium heat and this onion, and so we're going to just cook it like this until our onion gets cooked up a little bit. In the meantime, I'm just chopping away oh, over okay. here, just flailing away at this fibrovascular bundles. <laughs> For those of you who thought I was a total ignat, totally ignorant of my biology, I just want you to know I still remember it. It's the only thing I learned in two years of firing ink pens at my biology teacher, <laughs> which is the only thing I did in biology. Remember how you used to could stretch those? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they had little uh, little things in them. Yeah. What they call little springs. Yeah. Stretch those things out and just barely put them back together, and then hit those things real good, and they just go flying, whop, right past Mr. What's his name's head. And <laughs> I had a right smart time, but I'll be honest with you, I'm real ignorant about biology to this day. Oh no, Larry! You but I do be... know fibrovascular bundles when I see them, and these is them. Well, I know he'll be glad to hear that you did learn that. He's dead. <clears throat> oh well. But anyway, maybe <laughs> I think his eye was put out by a flying ink pen. <laughs> fibrovascular <laughs> bundle. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anyway, now I have just put this lovely green uh, celery in here, and I've got to turn that up because it's not going according to my wishes because I've got to get this thing in the oven with 15 minutes to spare. Don't you all let me run down below 15 minutes or I'm in a real lot of trouble on this program. All right, there we go. Now, only thing I got to do is put in some onion. Right Are you kidding? <laughs> 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 
Ooh. Ooh. I'm telling you, the floor crew is getting I vociferous hardly, today. I'm not, I, I hardly even got my costume on before they said that. <laughs> well, we may have to just scoot this thing along a little bit. <laughs> That's all right. I'll, I'll do it. Don't worry. I'll do it. So it only goes 10 minutes. All right. Well, I'm going to let me turn this up just a little more. <laughs> well, I tell you, they're so strict down here. They really are. Well, for those that care, I'm melting a half a stick of margarine. Oh, that's there. pretty exciting, Lady. <laughs> yes. Who could argue with that? Well, let me just quickly. <laughs> I was having such a good time, I just can't believe half the show's over with. Just got here a few minutes ago. I'm just kind of rough cutting those a little bit. I'm going to take those, put them in there also, but I'll tell you it's just a little bit. All right? So I'll tell you them a little bit. Now, in a couple of minutes, I'll make a gravy. And it's true. Well, now, listen, i got to tell you, this part of it is done. <laughs> but this should stay in the oven for 15 minutes, and it's not going to who cares. Now, while we're waiting, just reach in here. Well, wait a minute. I care. Well, I don't want to eat any half-cooked dish. No, the ha this this part of it is done. Oh, I thought the vegetables, if they don't get totally done, aren't going to kill you. Oh, well, on the I other half, know. on the other side of it, though, the veal, if it's not done, well, I don't know what you'd get. Now I'm deboning this thing just a little bit here, just <laughs> ripping it apart with my bare hands. I'm going to chop it here in a minute. I'm sorry, there's no delicate way to do this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's a stringy portion. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that doesn't favor nobody. I wonder right. what piece that came off of. Well, I don't Ooh. know. You all will get over it. This too shall pass. Now, you know the shoulder comes from right oh, up here. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I get so tired of being his stooge. All right. Now, make sure well, you take off the... Well, you didn't have to have a rump roast because nobody wants to see that. Oh, well, for heaven's <laughs> sake. What? Now, make sure you take off these fatty globules. Here's one. When right he here. and fatty globules. Big fatty park. There. When he and the little rascals. Take those things and get them out of here. How you doing, no. Harold? Harold's here. Yeah. Oh, Harold yeah. just walked in a minute ago. Now, anyway, what we're going to do is chop that up a little bit. So I'm going to just chop, chop, chop for a couple of chop, chop. You've heard All the term. Right, yes. All right, now back to Laban. All right, well, now, my spinach and onions are cooking, and now I'm adding this uh, entire little pan, a half a stick of margarine to the entire operation here. I'm never going to finish yes, this you will. recipe. And now I'm tossing all of this around and the onions are cooking. Oh, this looks like it's going to be delicious, Black. <laughs> I'm still getting fatty and pieces need, off of here. i got to have a pinch of salt. So this is where you do a pinch. You know, okay. I believe that Maureen is losing her hearing. What? Because you hear her talking about uh -huh. it. Uh-huh. I know. She just yells and carries on. But that's because since they're telling her to married, shape up and stuff. Yeah. She's lost her hearing since uh -huh. she got married. Oh, her ears have gotten plugged up. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's move, let's move right on here with this uh, chopping this stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's>, <laughs> I believe it's signified to us. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And it seemed yes, to be indeed. an angry signal. <laughs> <laughs> signal. All the the veal is flying over here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, now that now that looks like the what they do when you go to a pit barbecue. Well, it is, and there's no shortcut to doing it. And I'm not doing it as delicately as I would like to because oh. I'm in a big hurry. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Does it taste good? Well, I hope so. I cooked it oh, all. That's just got a lot of fat on it. Well, I'm trying to get the fat out of mm. it. Get the fat out of it. How is it? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Very tender. <laughs> I just you know, know, veal doesn't have a whole lot of taste. That's why you're putting all of this other stuff oh, in. Oh, is that why I'm doing uh -huh. this? <laughs> I think they've let an Indian loose oh, here in the studio. No, it's <laughs> 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 Uh, Doris, I need some kind of a bowl, <laughs> quickly. <laughs> Would you give me a paper towel? Bowl over here, paper towel over here. I'm getting frantic now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> hurry, hurry. I'm so, well, what, listen, last week we filled for five minutes. Well, I know. <laughs> I just got to get these veggies out of my way for a couple of seconds here because I got to do something else. I got to make a little gravy. Mm -hmm. Now, what you do is... Well, you know, they say make gravy while the sun shines. No, oh, don't tell me. Ten minutes. Ten I minutes. Don't hear, I don't want to hear Ten that. minutes. I don't want to hear that. Now, what you do is you take some of this juice that you did 
the uh, veal in, just about a uh, oh, little bit. <laughs> Put some of that in there and a tablespoon full of flour. I need this stuff hotter, whoops, I need it as hot as I can get it. Here, how hot point. is that? That's real hot. Okay. And I need to make up somewhat of a, a little gravy or roux or whatever. And that's what we're going to do right now. Oh, it's going to be pepper. lumpy now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. It'll just have to be yeah, lumpy. Yeah, there's a whisk. Where's the whisk? Give me a whisk. Nurse, Nurse Doris Thank has you. got a whisk. Well, that's all right. It wouldn't be the first time I ever made lumpy. Uh -huh. Well, we're working it out there. It's coming mm -hmm. out. If you hit it with the whisk early enough, see, it's coming right uh -huh. out there. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I yes, hope so. it is. Yes, it, it does. You could have like put your flour in the pan first. Well, and I normally do with a little bit of margarine, and I forgot, ladies and gentlemen, if you're doing your stuff on television like we do down here, a little salt and pepper. And I Nine saw you. I saw you. <sighs> I'll be quite and honest. And Doris, I'll need a serving bowl too for a this. Pepper in that too. Isn't that pretty? That's getting <clears throat> nice and goopy. Now, what am I supposed to do? It says two cups of meat broth and flour. Put the meat, the vegetables, and the gravy mixed with salt and pepper to the taste at a casserole and cook for 15 minutes to 450 degrees. All right, now put that back in there now that it's all thickened up real pretty. And you will put this in there also. This is your veal. And, and now we're going to pour it all in a casserole dish. We're going to bake it at 450 degrees, an extraordinarily hot heat for a period of 15 minutes, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'll show you in a couple of seconds here what we're going to put on top of it when we serve it. Isn't that pretty? Put well, it in a casserole dish. Mm -hmm. Like this. And bake it at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to put, huh? Or eight, minutes. Oh, or eight minutes, whichever comes first. Well, it's, <laughs> it's, it's definitely supposed to be for 15 minutes, but I'll take what I can get. Uh, oh, now. now, wasn't that simple? Uh-huh. <laughs> now, while you're doing that, I'm adding to my uh, spinach and onions mm. four ounces of sour cream, a half a cup. And that's a half of one of these little containers. And there it is right there, and I'm going to stir it around. And I've taken, the, this is just on a real low heat now, because you don't and there's the sour cream that goes into this. Remember, I put a little salt. Maybe we ought to have the recipes now. I'm going to put a little vinegar in this, too, here in just a minute, a, a teaspoon of vinegar. Oh, seven minutes. Seven and a half, six. Funny fingers. Oh, all right. Well, let's see the recipes. Oh, tasty veal, uh, three pounds a shoulder of veal. And sometimes they'll cut it up for you, and sometimes they won't. Just a little bowl, darling, will be fine. Half a stick of margarine, half a cup of chopped celery, half a cup of chopped onion, a half pound of sliced fresh mushrooms, a little salt and pepper to taste on the gravy that you're going to make, a rounded tablespoon of flour in, the, in, the, in the, the goop there to mix it around, and then we're going to do some sour cream and crisp bacon once we take it out of the oven. And that's going to, we're going to sort of garnish it with that. And for the old ladies living at home, spinach, a package of frozen spinach, a quarter cup of chopped onion, a pinch of salt, a half a cup of sour cream, four tablespoons or a half a stick of margarine, and a teaspoon of vinegar. Nice, easy recipe, and it looks delicious. I can't wait to get hold of this one. <laughs> I'm making the biggest mess here. Now what I'm doing is I've, I've, I've taken out a little sour cream and I've dropped a whole bunch of it all over everything. I'm sorry, we'll stick that over there. And we have some, some bacon, which is just real nicely done. Mmm, good. Now I'm going to crumble that up because in a couple of minutes we're going to need these little crumblings, all right? I don't know why in the world anybody would ever want to go with those fake bacon things when you can do this Should so I tell easily. them the story? You and I were shopping the other day in another state, because we can tell this, because it was true. in another state. It was down, in, well, down south. Down somewhere. south of here, and we were in a real fine shopping center, and we went in this gourmet spice store, right? Mm. And we were looking through everything, and Larry ran upon this great big jar. They had everything in bulk, you know, great big jars of dill weed and great big jars of 
jars of clothes and everything. And he ran, <laughs> ran across a great big jar of bacon bits. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't quite so figure out why that, that was so special. Right off the menu. That's right. Mm -hmm. We couldn't figure out why that would be so, so exotic but to was. buy a big two pound jar of that stuff. Well, maybe it's time for us to have the yeah, witch fly in and see Ms. what uh, Miss Witch is up to what today. She's got on While the I'm crumbling up my week. final garnish here, because oh. we're going to take this out and it's going to be so good and it's oh, going to be too hot to handle. Mm, just wonderful. <gasps> my heavens. Well, come on in here, honey. And there she goes. Ooh, never to be seen again. Dear boys, some, my nose is itching and I know somebody must be coming to see me. I hope so. I am the writer of the novel, How Green Was My Vegetable. <laughs> you can find it in local book video stores. <laughs> Do you have recipes that could be used to illustrate the book? And it's signed Brock R. Lee oh. of Rancid, North Dakota. <laughs> oh, that's another well, Mr. blow for cooking cheese. Mr. Lee, <laughs> we'll, we'll try to run up some green vegetables on our show next week. But honestly, I'm a little bit you know, unsure about just, uh, you know, this stuff about uh, your book and where it's being sold. It sounds to me that it might be sold in a place that might, that it's just not the kind of place that Larry and I would frequent. Uh, know, yeah, sure. Those book uh, and video stores uh, right. are that's, sometimes that's kind correct. of rough places. That's correct. Nice people. Well, now I will be momentarily taking out my red hot <laughs> Uh, dish out of the oven. Well, it is set at 450 degrees. It's been in there for three minutes, <laughs> but everything uh, is done. So everything is done. Shadrach, We're not Meshach, and Abednego. We are not eating dishes. anything raw. I can promise you. No, uh -huh. that's true. We really aren't. In the fiery furnace. Because the vegetables were sautéed and uh, meat was cooked, pre-cooked for mm -hmm. an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, it should be a real good recipe should all be. the way around. It really should. That's I'm giving it all I can. Well, <laughs> it needs it. I think you've given another it minute enough. before it's perfect, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 Turn it's it. perfect. Well, Laban, are you leaving? Or well, now I'm packing this stuff it. up while I'm talking. I can't get over <laughs> I, it. You know, I thought, well, why not? Let's just get out. Well, of I'm going to take my garnishes over. Oh, I thought you were going to put them right. You mean oh, my garnish. garnish at? at my garnish. My it sounds garnish. like one of those old uh, songs that you used to find in the upper room hymnal. And I know you all are going <laughs> to think this is funny, but I, I do need a hot pan. <laughs> I'm going to get a hot pan because it has been in there just long enough to get too hot to handle, I can assure you. Well, I'm going on over to the table with my dish, which is finished, I might add. Yes, it's completely finished, ladies and oh, gentlemen. Oh, well, mine will be momentarily. And it's quite lovely, too. Lovely, gorgeous, beautiful oh, dish. Oh, it is. Now, what Look is this that. six old ladies eating this No, finished? no. It's a dish for old ladies living alone. Oh, 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 oh. I thought it was six or old maybe ladies they, eating spinach. they live alone, but they have a friend that comes in to see them once in a while. Wink, I don't, you winky, know, winky, winky, winky. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, let's... What does it mean? Does it mean anything? How long do we have? I get cues until I need them. Now that I need one and I don't get one, I don't know. What do I get? Ten minutes? Oh I'm boy, this stuff minute? is so good. Do I have? Do I have two minutes? Just shake your head. Do I? Have three minutes. Thank you. Three minutes. Wait a minute. Well, hey, we got time to spare <laughs> now. What is? Oh no! Look. What? Here's a piece of meat laying over here on the floor. You've been tracking it around. Oh, really? I'm sorry. Oh, God, one of them must have slipped Look at out. that. Oh. Thank goodness I found it, or it it end up in the dish eventually. Oh, it's pretty. Either that, or some Ooh, of the crew would eat pretty. it. It's pretty. It's not pretty hot, but it's pretty. It's pretty, uh, and it's steamy too. I might add. Let me get oh, a spoon. Oh boy, this! Look, I gotta try this. I just can't wait on the. Oh, I can use there. one of these. I use mm. one of these. Mm. I need to hurry me around. I'm doing the best I can. Now, oh, I, is that good? Oh, that spinach is. Oh, it's oh. Oh, it's well, wonderful. Well, I mean, is it terrible or is it good? I can't tell. Oh, that is a delicious dish. Now, what we do, make sure you put a little dollop of that on there and a little. Well, your little fingers have been on that bacon. bacon. Bit. My fingers have been over all this stuff. Oh. So get over it. Oh, now they're making signs. You mean I'm that big? <laughs> yes. No, I haven't gained that Actually, much weight. Bigger than that. Well, this that. looks delicious. Well, I guess it's delicious. Try the spinach while well, I try the veal. I'm doing the best I can. I'm too tired to eat. Bye. It's cold. Thank <laughs> you.